Hey, hey, guys. So I've been away for a little bit. Some IRL stuff going on. And, um, well, I'm back. I jumped in the Kelvin Timeline D4X pilot, Bird of Frey. I gotta admit, it's not the first time I fly this ship. Um, but it is the first time that the captain is a Vulcan. So, yeah, no space traits for her. I knew the ship was powerful, so I didn't put too much effort into building it. Um, we're going to start from this side, move our way in. Quad cannons, they come off of the Defiant. So, I think the Tier 4 Defiant. Uh, they've been re-engineered for damage times for crit X and crit D. Um, if you don't have a set of these, you can always... Uh, are these down? Yeah. Pr prolong Entanglement uh, Phaser Dual Cannons. You get those out of the Phoenix Prize Pack. You can always stick those in there. Or I went with Pulse Phasers. You just put another pulse phaser in there. Um, Re-engineered damage times five, crit D. Terran Task Force dual heavy cannons. Again, damage times four proc. And the reason you see a lot of this being used or this particular cannon is because every time it hits a target, it hits it harder and harder and harder. So on a scatter volley, on rapid fire, it's still a very good one to use. I have another pulse wave cannon, damage times five, crit D. And, you know, very Kelvin timeline ish. Like when, cause that's what the Franklin was firing. So I kind of went with that theme. Um, we have the Dark Matter Quantum Torpedo paired with its console, which is right here. So the console itself gives you crit chance, weapons power, and shield penetration. Um, I'll show you how to adjust that shield penetration in a second. Well, it's actually part of this. So, coming down the line, Oh, sorry. I didn't show you why I'm using the two-piece set. On a critical hit, it gives you 1% crit severity buff or up to, up to, damn tongue twisters, up to 20 seconds, stacks up to 25 times, and it's rinse and repeat for it. A Colleen Defector Array, crit coil, I've re-engineered this one to give me crit X times two and drain um, shield and hull cap. Prevailing innovative engines to get around quick. The Marsilio Harmonic Matter Antimatter Warp Core. You see me use this a lot. And yes, there are better warp cores out there. But I do it for the two-piece set bonus, which I will explain. Tilly Shield, which gives you additional shield damage. Like um, in your skill tree, you have shield hardness. So think of it as weakening the, the shield hardness, not shield penetration. I have 16.5. Now, if I raise my shield power, my own shield power, excuse me, said that wrong. Okay, and go back and hover over it. it now it's at 19%. So just because your shield power is way, way up there, it's wherever you have it locked in that counts for that. The two pieces together is the main reason I use this set for the 120 hull regeneration. Now on the aft, we have the heavy biomolecular phaser turret. 
re-engineered and I'm not finished with it. That's why there's an accuracy there. It should be crit D damage. Um, paired with its console, which gives you plus three to engineering, plus three to aux, 22.7 of weapon accuracy and flight turn rate, which on this ship flight turn rate is just like, I don't know, a waste of time. <laughs> But the reason those two pieces are there is because it gives your ship a bonus. So this is category one, I believe. 7.5% extra phaser bonus. All right. This is probably one of the best um, consoles in the game at the moment. I would put it up there with the standard three lobby console. Um, this is the immobilizing phaser lance from the Demos. It does 15.8% phaser damage. And it gives you 43.8. That's like, I don't know, around 5% shield penetration. So when you look at it, it says it does 27,443 points phaser damage. Um... But that damage is then spread out. So you're actually debuffing an area when you use it. It's very, very helpful. Especially when you just throw together a build and say, Hey, let's try all the new stuff. The assimilated module, still one of the best mo is one of the best consoles in the game for DPS um, and for science. Uh, with its crit chance, crit severity, weapon power, starship damage control and control expertise and this is craftable again okay so then we have the bio neural infusion circuit which um, i'm pretty sure by this time if you've been playing for a little while you're on your event campaign you're almost finished you're gonna get your lobby hold on to them for a lobby sale because there's actually two consoles from the lobby store and this is one of them that's used on almost every build so whether you're a casual player whether you're hanging out with me because i get you through advanced and um then you go to augment the dictator for like truly kick-ass uh dps so the bioneural fusion circuit is all capacity, control expertise, and crit severity. The latest from the far, far away box, they gave us a parasitic ice containment vessel. They also gave us crates that go with this. Um, you can buff this with beam weapons, not cannons. Which is weird because the console boosts cannons. The console itself will give you 15% extra cannon. Those of you that play on Xbox or PS, that's that shake you get, that rumble. Those of you on a computer that have everything running head up. Uh, at max, that's when you see the screen shake. Uh, that's the hit the force of the cannon weapon all right so it also gives you 15 percent projectile weapon damage 50 percent cold damage plus 50 cold damage resistance rating plus 25 exotic particle generator um so basically you hit your main target with this right and it does a fair amount of damage does about six on this ship right now it does 6191 cold damage and when it explodes it spreads out and hits three nearby enemies and that's additional cold damage it also gives a taunt to your ship so those of you that fly squishy ships like i do just make sure you can uh protect yourself because it's 479.8 cold damage every second. Okay. 
the domino console again it's a staple of dps it's what a lot of people use um the 15 percent phaser damage and plus 20 percent accuracy is nice the clickable on this is what everyone uses it for it's plus 25 percent to fire cycle haste 25 percent bonus damage 20 plus 5% recharge speed for bridge officer abilities plus 100 recharge speed for your torpedo weapons if you defeat a foe it extends those times by two seconds um, for each foe killed and this can only occur 10 times so it's pretty kick-ass so we have uh, five from the spire vulnerability locators for crit chance i did not do crit severity because i made up for it in my uh traits the skill tree is basically your standard skill tree except i do put points in hull plating but i do not put points in defensive maneuvers defensive maneuvers makes the, you harder to hit but since I'm so quick, I'm hard to hit anyway. Um, all right. Traits. So I used adaptive defense, turning crit chance into crit severity. Terran targeting systems for crit severity. Unconventional systems which is why I have a tractor beam and it's actually on my spam bar at this point. Um, do, do, do. Okay, it's down here. Negative uh, 7% recharge rate on universal consoles. That does affect the domino console and the ice console. So it's nice to have. Now from K13, you can purchase superior cannon training, which is 7.5 bonus cannon weapons. And I happen to have the projectile version of that also on the ship. Operative, which is crit chance and crit severity. Self-modulating fire. Innocuous and duelist fervor plus five percent all damage for 10 seconds plus five five plus five not five percent five uh for 10 seconds on accuracy now the way i'm keeping my ship alive is this trait it comes off of the inquiry okay so when you pop your emergency power to shields, oh, you're not going to be able to see it because everything is hiding. Okay, wait. We got to change that. All right. So when you pop your emergency power to shields, you've just gone immune from damage. Okay. So it provides you with uh, 17,880.9 shields. And it gives you fire cycle haste so you shoot faster. On this particular build, what's not on my spam bar is my firing modes. So we have withering barrage and go for the kill. I could have just used withering barrage by itself and added extra damage, but it worked out really nicely. Um, the runes of our enemy, if you have it, it is very, very nice. If you don't, just remember everything in this game can be replaced with something else. Best Hope of the Empire. So it gives you a bonus damage of 10%. But the cool part about it is it procs with the Phaser Lance or Beam Overload. And that's an additional 50,000 temporary hit points. So 50,000 and 17,005. When it procs and you do this, it's pretty hard to kill you at that point. The other trade I used was Terran Goodbye. 
which is plus accuracy rating plus crit chance for 20 seconds all my space traits advanced targeting systems omega gravision amplifier magnified firepower enhanced shield penetration enhanced armor penetration now this ship I just want you to know I've seen it do over 600k it's a very very good ship um, these pilot abilities you could actually set them to just your AWDS keys and double tap them you don't have to click them off the screen okay my active duty officers I have a stacking crit chance for energy weapons I don't know why this is here I took this off they still haven't gotten the loadout system fixed it's incredible Wow just give me a second guys I'll take the projector I got now nah, here it is that's what's supposed to be there see if it stays now okay so st stacking crit chance with energy weapons and two blue stacking crit chance with energy weapons I only have two technicians for auxiliary battery and I have auxiliary battery two and three reason being I can't get two auxiliary uh, twos on there but it works out really well and my nurse for increased hull regeneration so I mean it was a really fun ship to fly if you bought it from Mud's Market is it still on sale is the question oh it won't even tell me Ooh. featured here we go on sale no it's not oh yeah wait it is still on sale oh, that's a lot of money though it's a hundred and fifty dollars but you get all of these ships and 50 keys or whatever else you use from um in this bundle i think the greatest ships that are most worth it are is the connie the jellyfish the one i just used um and these two battle destroyers i'm not too into this one and until they fix fire at will again the trait you get this ship i guess if you're a star trek fan and you like it the look of it you just get it but the trait that comes off of it right now won't really help you build out a new ship okay i noticed i oofed it so this experimental weapon the grip Gravision implosion charges it's kind of like um, a micro gravity well and it pulls everything together when I use cannons or I'm always flying solo I like to use this because it groups everything for me if there's no science officer in a public queue or in my particular queue it does do some kinetic damage I just find the advantage of it pulling everything together really nice so it is the provision implosion charges from the mirror strike wing escort but I have trouble getting that out um, one more thing the mirror strike wing escort is also where you get the trait um, area of denial which is uh, I think it's still broken and very overpowered so let's get on with the show and see this run oh i am to lit on this board at 193 702 without breaking a sweat and putting any real work into the ship so here we go
All right. So if it was your first time here, please hit that subscribe button, leave a like, a constructive comment, and check out Augment the Dictator, Teacher Kirby, and MC Sue for more in-depth build videos.